Sometimes you just have to accept who you are. Don't let your flaws hold you back. See them as something to improve upon. Where I come from, nearly everyone is a poly-addicted person, meaning they have more than one bad habit to break. But you need to realize that you didn't pick up all. Those habits in one day, it took years of trauma to acclimate you to those choices. Striving to take on one bad habit at a time versus all of them at once is optimal. If you smoke, drink, and do drugs, you didn't pick them up all in one night. It may have taken decades. Addressing the problem you face is step one, and step two is creating a plan of action to eliminate it. Change your surroundings, develop better habits, maybe read more books, do something to change your future. For those with several bad habits, it's possible to become free, even if it seems like you're bad. Habits are everywhere. When you have a bad habit, you're not free. You may think you are, but that addiction controls the best of you. Step one towards success is always addressing your bad habits, and step two is managing them. If you don't control your bad habits and strive for success, the bad habit can drag you into hell at any time. I believe that heaven and hell are not just a wealth thing. There are people from both lifestyles who experience both heaven and hell. If life is over at death, don't you want those days of hell to have been beneficial? So take the necessary steps to address and manage your bad habits. Don't let them control you. Take control of your life and work towards a brighter future. Don't let the thought of addiction hold you back. Even if you can make it through just one day, you'll already be on a better path, sure. You might slip up briefly on day two, but aim for a day and a half or even two days this time. Keep pushing yourself and never give up. Many people are quick to surrender and believe that they will always be trapped in their addiction, but that's not true. I know this from personal experience as I have battled and overcome various forms of addiction, from gambling and alcohol to everyday heroin use for years. I've struggled with it all. Shopping addiction, meth addiction, weed addiction, and even nicotine addiction. Yes, I do still make mistakes along the way, but I've learned from those mistakes because I wanted a better life for myself. When I was stuck in the depths of a heroin addiction, I went through grueling detox that seemed to last forever just to prove that it could be done. Now, my biggest struggle is with cigarettes, but I'm getting better every single day. I have faced numerous tragedies and had friends who expected their lives to be cut short because of their addictions. I didn't always receive the support I needed when trying to break free from these destructive habits, but I still emerged victorious. I emphasize the importance of getting your bad habits under control before seeking success or wealth because every time you try to move up, those habits will drag you back down. What's the point of becoming a CEO or a millionaire if you spend all your free time getting high? What has worked for me is focusing on creating lasting opportunities instead of seeking short-term gratification from these habits. A gambling addict can waste millions chasing that elusive big win, while a heroin addict can drain their own savings and hurt their families in the process. Take control of your habits. Start by eliminating the worst ones. And if you stumble, focus on improving the ones you can. There may not be people on every corner teaching you how to quit smoking, but there sure are gas stations trying to sell you cigarettes at every turn. Remember, bad habits are meant to test us and push us to make the right choices, no matter how long it takes. I recently told my nephew that when faced with a bad choice, whether you believe in God or not, it is like a test. If you choose the bad choice, you will continue to be tested until you make the right choice. This holds true whether you call it God or the universe testing you. By consistently making better choices in life, we can lead a fairly decent existence. Choices are meant to challenge us, not break us. You are stronger than your bad choices. You have the power within you to achieve great things, but it will never happen if you remain focused on destructive habits. Success comes from rewarding positive choices, not bad ones. As the army says, be all you can be. Live by that motto and strive to improve rather than aiming for perfection. We all make mistakes, but it's those who minimize those mistakes that go on to achieve great things in this world. Remember, you have the ability to change your life for the better.